Hi everyone, thanks for buying our video on how to fix a Honeywell LCD thermostat. Um, on the table here is everything you need to make the fix, so it's sort of everyday things you find in your house. Uh, Hair dryer, screwdrivers, four bulldog clips and uh, a rubber. So here's a typical broken LCD, so you can see on the screen there that segments of the characters are missing and it becomes the point you don't know what temperature you've got if it's on or off etc so it becomes pretty unusable the first thing to do is dismantle the unit so to do that the first step is to take this cover off or this flap and it's just held in by these hinges here so you just pull it apart and it will come off you've probably had this off anyway at home but that's that's all that does the next thing is to take the batteries out and the easiest way to take the batteries out is just pull it out from the middle the next step is to get this back cover off the unit and it's probably worth looking at how that cover's uh, fitted on. So here's another unit where the cover's already off and the key thing to sort of understand is that it's sort of hinged at the top here and then it just clips together so that's the way the thing holds together. So it's important to know that back's really clipped hard on the back there to take it off. So to take this cover off, I just turn the thing around and if we zoom in here you'll notice there's pictures of screwdrivers on each side. Then all we do is take a flat bladed screwdriver and put it in there and twist and put it in that one and twist and it comes off. So if you were doing that and holding it onto the table, you'd never get the back off. That's why I was showing you that functionality before. So this cover, this just comes off and let's put that over here. But let's see how this one looks. To get the batteries in, this is the way I normally put them together. I put the ends of the batteries into place and then just press in the middle. And it lights up. The next thing I do just to test it is move the slider control up and down and this is looking really good. Everything seems to be working. I then set the date uh, just because that means you're testing various buttons on the unit and you're making sure that they are all connecting. Uh, that's it. Any questions just message me on eBay and I'll help you out.